What's up, Wolfpack? I hope you're all having a really good day. I hope you worked hard and accomplished your goals like always. And thanks for watching my videos. Now, why did the V2 tokens take so long? We have new insights, so stick to the end for all the details. And before we get into the video, consider subscribing as it helps with the growth of this channel. And give this video a thumbs up. That way YouTube recommends more of these crypto videos to more people. And we all win because more people invest into crypto. So yes, guys, as you know, this should have been over a month ago, pretty much. June 2nd was the deadline for Saitama V2. As you remember, the original deadline was May uh, 31 to June to 2nd. Within those two days, uh, the snapshot was going to be taken of how many tokens everybody has. Trading was going to be stopped uh, uh, from exchanges of Saitama. They were going to tell the exchanges, hey, stop trading. We are going to switch over to V2. Uh, take a snapshot of what everybody has in their wallets we're going to give you the v2s to the exchanges the exchanges are then going to uh, switch over the v1 to v2 and everybody's wallets and everybody was going to be happy in two days but guess what it's now around 23 days later and then then after that it was got, it got postponed even more it got postponed to june 7th they said that's when they were going to start uh, start uh, halting the trading of saitama v1 they were going to air start the airdrops then and i don't think the airdrops even happened until a couple days later i think only like three holders got the airdrops like on june 7th the the deadline that was extended now we're in june 26 and people still do not have the their their tokens majority of the people are still uh, uh without the v1 as you can see right here total addresses is 83,000. but guess what the original saitama had 360,000 plus holders now we have new insights of why it might have been that case as you can see right here and this is something i pointed out in the past it says gas is cheap gas is cheap airdrops continue we will rest when everyone gets there we are Saitama V2 tokens well into the 20 billion V1 range now. No wolf left behind. Now this is the keyword. Gas is cheap. The 360,000 holders, all of those transactions required gas. And I'm pretty sure the dev team isn't going to start the, the airdrops at the peak of the Ethereum blockchain gas fees. As you know, they, they fluctuate throughout the day. I think... The lowest ones are at midnight uh, when nobody is actually trading or where there, when there's very little trading going on. Now, that may have been the reason why a lot of the trading was spread out. As you know, it started like around June 7th. Then there was periods where only a couple couple uh, hundred of wallets were given their Air V2 or their V2 tokens. And after that, it was more days where pretty much nothing happened. It was just halted. And then out of nowhere, a bunch of airdrops happen, like 10,000. Then after that, it just halts again for a couple of days. Now, why did they do that? It may have been to avoid gas. Maybe during those days, maybe, uh, I know for sure, maybe a Friday they didn't do any airdrops because that's when people get paid. Or maybe a Saturday, that's when people get start to spend their week, the money they earn during the week. Or maybe the second Friday of the week because a lot of people get their paycheck twice a month. So that the second Friday and the first Friday of the week or the last Friday of the month, they probably halt, they, they probably didn't do any uh, airdrop stand because it could have uh, it really, really consumed gas fees. And as you know, it could have costed millions of dollars in gas fees when it came to airdropping all of those tokens. So glad to see now they're in the $20 billion, $20 billion V1 range and hopefully they continue to um uh, with the process so i truly appreciate you guys watching my videos and have a great rest of your day